Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Mateo Lane. All documentaries are trying to trick you. Let's see what he has to say. I'm so bitter though, because I want, you know, it's so crazy to me that kids come out so young. Like, I came out when I was 18. I'm acting like I'm Methuselah, but you know, it's like, I saw this kid, he's like seven years old, purple hair, talking in front of the human rights campaign. He's like, when I came out of the closet, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for these kids, but I'm also so bitter that part of me wants to grab them and be like, you go home and turn off the lights and listen to Madonna and cry like the rest of us, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't even imagine. When I was seven years old, are you out of your mind? Like, I, was, I couldn't even keep my Tamagotchi alive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Talk about it. Talk about I feel like Tamagotchis was, like, traumatizing to millennial, the, the, our generation, because, like, we all wanted them so badly, and none of us could successfully keep them alive. And we just would restart them, and then they would just expire within 24 hours. Like, what a time. What a time. Um, I get what he's saying here. I feel like this is not just for like kids coming out about things like that, but like just like anything. I feel like the today's kids, like we suffered in silence about so many things. And these kids are just so proud and confident and know who they are at like six years old. And it's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Go sit down and, and color. <laughs> uh, also, side note, I love what he's wearing. Like the silhouette of it is so nice. With his chucks, he looks like, like a, a city boy, like a New York City slicker. All he needs is like a trench coat. And I'm still bitter about it, but <laughs> it just makes me mad because, you know, every when is Pride here? August, right? Is it <laughs> one gay? Yes! Um, <laughs> I, Pride to me is fine, but it's also like, you know, I get mad about the posters, right? Every poster is always like a steroid a guy on a float with a drag queen, a boa, confetti, beer. And it's like, that's fine, but can we also have a poster right next to it of two middle-aged lesbians paying their mortgage on time? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> it's just so ridiculous, you know? Because, you know, it's like, in my family, like, I, I'm gay, but my older brother's also gay. <laughs> so my dad is real proud. And... <laughs> And my dad was in Vietnam. I feel like his two gay sons is just his second Vietnam. Like, oh, his second. <laughs> That's funny, y'all. That is funny. You know, it's funny. He comes from like a, a like legit Italian family, so that is probably was a little problematic growing up. Like, I don't know what his dad feels about it now, but I know that was like something in that household. You know what I mean? I love it. I love that he's able to like have a sense of humor about that. Like. And my dad was in Vietnam. I feel like his two gay sons is just his second Vietnam. Like, he doesn't get PTSD from that. It's from us. Just wakes up in the middle of the night like, you're another one! But... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I hate documentaries, but I watch this one documentary. And documentaries, let me just say this. You learn absolutely nothing, right? That's not they true. They do everything to fool you. It's like two minutes of information that they just stretch for a full hour. Okay, that is kind of like, true. I watched one, it was That's called The Ancient true. Pyramids. I'm like, yeah, got it. I'm not like mistaking it for like a modern day pyramid. I'm not, I'm not like, oh, which one? In Seattle? Like, I know. <laughs> and they do everything to trick you, right? So number one, they get the British narrator. So Americans are like, ooh, learning. And then... <laughs> <laughs> everything feels more educational and just much better and you feel smarter if you're listening to it in a british accent that is a fact that is a fact as a documentary girl i appreciate it when the narrator is british i'm like oh yeah i'm learning something now i love a documentary but he's right it does a lot of times feel like this was the most redundant repetitive circle of an hour that i just wasted that i'll never get back in my life and i learned really what i already knew I know. We're... That's all it takes. That's and all, all it they takes. do, like the British narrator asks like a bunch of really <laughs> long, drawn out questions about the pyramids. Then they just show the pyramids from every possible angle. angle while just playing some generic bullshit Arabic music in the background. So the entire thing is just, did the Egyptians know more than we think they did? Uh, 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 uh. 
It's so accurate. It's so accurate. Did they? <laughs> Five minutes later, I'm just Googling. I'm like, no, they did an alien. Oh my gosh, that's the part right there. I'm always Googling while I'm watching a documentary. And I guess if the documentary was doing its job, I wouldn't have to Google. Dang, Mateo, you just like, I just had an aha moment. I also love how he can, he always like, can somehow add in his singing into his bits. Like, he, that was his singing just now. And then he's, he has such a gorgeous voice. I love that he can always somehow slide that in there. Did they? Five minutes later, I'm just Googling. I'm like, no, they didn't. Aliens did it. Well, I'm wasting all my time. All right, I love everyone here. Merci beaucoup. Bonne nuit. Ciao. He's so funny. I really enjoy his style, truly. Uh, all right, well, go and have the day you deserve, kids. Peace. <laughs>